This is my iPod here, as you can see. Um, it's a 160 gig iPod, and I've had it for a number of years. You can see the back here, if I hold it a bit closer, 160 gig. It's got a lot of tunes on it, a lot of my favorite tunes, and I use it a lot. But the problem I have is I want to play this to my Bluetooth Bose speaker, but without having to plug it in all the time, like when I'm sitting in the garden and things like that. So I kind of did some research to find an item that I could use so that I could essentially use this device as a Bluetooth device with all my tunes. And so, yes, I came across a transmitter that you can order online quite simply and order it to um, in order to work, make this device work as a Bluetooth device. So I went online and unfortunately, firstly, I did order one, but I ordered the incorrect one, which is this one which is a wireless receiver transmitter. It's actually the wrong one because this receives items. I'm not going to go into any depth about why, um, how it works. However, it doesn't work for receive, um, transmitting music to a device, to a speaker. So I have to send this back and then I reordered. And I'm only mentioning it because I'm trying to prevent you from doing the same, making the same error. I then went back and I ordered this device um, which is a wireless two-in-one adapter. It's the Taltronics two-in-one adapter, and this works perfectly. It's really simple, really easy to use, and I'm going to go through how you do so that. Firstly, now. I'm going to open the box and show you the content. So here's what's inside the box. Um, it's got lots of wires. So firstly, what you've got here is a USB um, charging cable. As you can see, the ends, the regular um, type of end it's got here. Yeah. It's looking a bit... There it is, that's it. And then you've got the, the other end, which is the regular USB, which can go into your computer or a socket. Put that there. And then you've got the 3.55 milliliter female, um, female here, to two male RCA cables, which is useful as well, both for transmitting and receiving. And then you've got the 3.5 millimeter um, regular cable, which is going to go in from my iPod to the device. And then you, I hear you say, where's the device? And here it is. It's a tiny little thing, which is there. It's in a plastic. I'll undo that in a second. But I just wanted to show you what else comes with it. You get this, where I ordered it on Amazon, you get this little voucher thing that you sort of send an email to um, people and you can get £15 gift voucher. You've got here your warranty, which is kind of cool. Tells you about the warranty on the device. And then you've got your instructions in about 32 different languages. <laughs> but, but it's quite straightforward, but the instructions are here as well. Anyway, I'm going to go through and show you how to, I need to open so this. Inside is this lovely little small, cute little device, as you can see, the Tatronics um, cable, there's a two-in-one adapter. On one side is for your 3.5 um, millimeter cable. That's this spot here. And then next to it is your USB port. Then on the other side, you've got TX, which stands for transmitter. And then the RX, which is for receiver. So for the purpose of what I want, i.e. to play this device to the speaker, I'm looking for a transmitter to do that. So I, I move this to TX. As you can see, I've done that already. Okay. And now I'm going to go through how I'm um, connecting. Right, so what I've now done is I've connected the 3.5 millimeter cable to my iPod Classic, and I've also attached the other end to the Taltronics transmitter device, as you can see here. Small, very short little cable. And what you want to do is you want to hold down the, the on-off button for a count of five seconds. Now, because I've already connected this speaker, it may connect straight to my wireless speaker. Um, if it, for your first time, you'll press it, hold it for five seconds, then you move your finger away, you'll see a blue light flashing. Then you'll press it twice in order to lock the Bluetooth in. And then you'll get a static blue light, a straight single blue light that tells you you're connected. So let me do that. So I hold it down for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Flashing blue light. Then I'll press it twice. One, two. To Daltronics TTPA07. Disconnected. Ready to pair. Right, so actually... Connected to Daltronics TTPA07. That blue light should stop flashing. It's gone blue and red now. 
So you can see. It might take a while because I disconnected it and reconnected it. There you go. That's done. And now you can see we're connected. So now if I press play, you can see I'm playing.